Hey yo guys, what is up and welcome back to another player review. And today on my channel we will be looking at the brand new 85 Demir Bay. Now, you have to win 8 games in Division Rivals with a full German team, 11 German players, to get this card. And honestly, he looks really good. 85 attack positioning, 82 shot power and 82 long shots means that he will score you some goals, but then he is a playmaker, so his 87 vision, 86 free kick accuracy, 88 short pass, 86 long pass, and 90 on curve will be able to thread some really nice balls through. And on the dribbling front, he's got all dark green with 81 agility, 81 balance, 85 reactions, 89 ball control, 86 dribbling with 81 composure. Also, this guy is very well rounded, so he's even got 73 marking on a cam, and then he's also ended up getting 77 jumping, 79 stamina, and 71 strength with 74 aggression. So he will be able to push off the occasional player, especially with his agility and balance, allowing him to stay up. Now he's six foot, medium, medium, a left footer with four star, four star, which I think would be pretty nice for him, especially medium, medium. Not having the best stamina, you don't want him to be. You don't want him to be running around too much. I'll be playing him as a central cam in a 4-2-3-1. Hopefully playing some really nice balls out to our wingers. And then getting it back into the box. I am going to put a chemistry star on him. And what do you want to do? We're going to want to boost his shooting and physical. So I'll put a finisher on him. So now this guy is going to be an absolute beast. So with the finisher on him, he now goes to... Uh, 97 shot power, 97 long shots with 87 jumping, uh, 76 strength and 84 aggression with 90 attack positioning and 83 finishing which is much better for my cam. I'm really liking the look of this card. We will go into some division rivals games, see how he plays with the rest of the team and yeah, now let's get into the clips. In and here so is guys, the into the first clip we go, and Leo picks up on the edge of the box, gets to the demo guy, and he shoots, that was going top left, but sadly gets blocked, and then Leo finishes, but demo guy did have a really nice shot on him, but the main point about this card was his passing, as you can see there, really nice ball through to Pepe, who gets it back to demo guy, and then his shot, he puts it, in the top left corner really nice finish from him and i was really pleased with that again keen gets it to demo by and as you can see here another amazing ball on his weak foot gets to pepe who cuts back sadly the shot wasn't too good and he couldn't finish but demo by yeah his passing and dribbling were fantastic the key points of this cam card he was just really really good his passing and his movement but his shot was powerful as you can see from there. Left foot, almost one of the top left. Sadly, it couldn't. But yes, yeah, passing. Not many cams would be able to thread the ball through to Ibra. He doesn't supply the best finish. We get to Pepe. And then gets it back and everybody scores. But we would not have been able to do that if it weren't for Demo Bai's pass. He was really good there. As you can see, Demo Bai again. There's that left foot finesse. What a finish that is. Having someone with a, such a good left foot is so important in FIFA 19. And considering this guy's completely free, I definitely think you should, you should get this. Then there's his defending with 73 marking and from the 65 interceptions. He gets the ball through, picks it up, passes it to Ibra, and Ibra sweats it across to Arnautovic. But yeah, down by on the ball, really nice. He felt really good, not clunky at all. His passing was really nice. And he was just the playmaker you need in your central cam position. I really enjoyed him. He was really fun to use, really easy to get as well. Just get some like Sani in your team and then just play a couple of division, division rivals games. And you'll be able to get a player who can pass like that. Who just he controls that central cam position. He's just able to thread passes through and really connect your whole team together. Because we all know when our passes don't go in the right place, it's really annoying. But if it weren't for Devil by there, Pepe would not be able to score. Amazing at the top three ball. And a great finish. But yeah, Devil by shot was really nice. As you can see from here, dribbles really nicely. Finesse into the left corner. And yeah, this guy, I think, it took me 10 games to get him. I lost two. No, I drew one and lost one. And won eight. But yeah, this last slip, just look at that dribbling there. He goes past their entire team. 
And to have someone like that is so important. So guys, in conclusion, I'll give Daniel Wright an 8.5 out of 10. Considering he is free, he doesn't cost you anything. Now look at those stats. If he gets upgraded, he'll have like 89 dribbling, 83 shooting, 89 passing, 78 physical, what's it, 75 pace, and then maybe 69 defending. He'll be amazing. I believe he's 6 foot, medium, medium work rates, and yeah, and especially because his stamina is not that great, the fact that his work rates are as they are, medium, medium, it means that he doesn't get tired too quickly. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you do want to see any other player reviews, comment them down in the comments and let me know who you do want to see. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video from me. I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you and goodbye. Peace.